So today has been quite an eventful day, everybody. Apparently, the Holy Dreamcast guy <laughs> went into coma after hearing the news. And I gotta say, finally, there is some good Xbox news. I cannot believe it. I really cannot believe it. We got the Sony ponies on the front lines. We got the Xbox Andys out there. Everybody's doing, like, helicopters with their release. Some people going into coma. I got a bunch of stuff that I gotta show you guys. And we got a video here. Yeah. Like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Like this video if you didn't see this coming. Let's go for three likes on the video. Roll this. If we admit the Xbox tax is real. Never! What happened last week? Well, last week, Microsoft messed up and they were rightfully called yeah. out by the entire gaming community. Yeah. They are a trillion dollar company, not your best friend, yada yada, hold their yeah, feet to facts, the fire. Facts, facts, you know facts. how it is. A lot of fair criticism, but with it came that infectious negativity that people really get attached to because let's face it, for some people, bad Xbox <laughs> news is literally their source of income. I mean, come on, man. It was the homie's birthday, bruh. Like, what we doing here, man? It was, yeah, it was the homie's birthday, guys. Let's go for two likes on the on the video for the homie's birthday. But I have to be real, bro. Like, gamers, they need somebody to be the bad guy, right? And Xbox made it super easy uh, to be the bad guy. And you know what? The homie kind of went crazy, okay? Has to, because let's face it, for some people, bad Xbox news is literally their source of income. So if they can constantly keep the outrage going, they will. For instance, Dreamcast guy, the only person in the world who can turn good Xbox news into bad Xbox news, because if he doesn't, he won't be able to afford his soy. Or uh, Griffin Gaming, who went to college, but is still somehow not educated. Writing Bruh. out stupid ass posts Man. like this. What's up, Man. brokies? Griffin Gaming here. When Xbox is selling 800k consoles in like the literally same literally time span that Sony incredibly sold literally 4.5 million incredibly PS5s, it literally makes sense why Microsoft is literally going third party, bruh. After bruh. spending literally 80 bruh. billion on acquisitions, yeah. incredibly Xbox Series X is pulling in Wii U numbers uh -oh. currently. What is literally now while we are on the topic at hand i don't think you guys would understand now the red dragon the red dragon the red dragon also known as a playstation fanboy account and i, I play on playstation by the way guys Bruh. like listen man i i find it equally funny when fanboys defend xbox and playstation and when fanboys trash them as well okay I, I find it equally funny but this tweet is just hilarious so man ca came out says that how bad is it when xbox fans are celebrating because microsoft in change to keep their promise when you've been lied to so much that you're happy when promises are kept. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 6 reportedly set to launch straight into Xbox Game Pass. And yeah, a lot of people are shaking right now, right? But we also have this news, which is uh, a lot of people saw this coming and I'm not seeing many people being upset with it. Yeah, sure, some people would be. And understandably, yeah, I definitely see it because now we're hearing that Microsoft intends to reportedly add new tiers and changes to Xbox Game Pass to accommodate adding Call of Duty on the service. Oh, shit. Oh. Yay, so price is going up, guys. Price is going up. The ironic is that literally Phil Spencer's literal attempt to save Xbox by buying all these studios, bruh, incredibly might be the very literally thing that sinks it. Bruh. Gee, Griffin, I really appreciate you coming in to record for this episode, but I will say, you're quite stupid. Wii U numbers? Griffin, do you even know how much the Wii U sold in its lifetime? 13 million units. You know where the Xbox is? 29 million. Or 27 okay. million. 20, somewhere between 27 and 29 million. The numbers don't lie! Either way, the console already yeah. surpassed Wii U's lifetime numbers within what? I think it's first, like, year or two? You don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're just making shit up on the spot like everybody on Twitter does, and you always talk like you're above Twitter. When you post on your community page on YouTube like it is Twitter. See, instead of being upset that Microsoft as a company is doomed or anything like that, people are only upset that they aren't doing better than PlayStation. Why? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Not me. Right. If Microsoft is doomed because they're not where PlayStation is, then you can keep Microsoft looking like they're constantly doomed every single month, week, day, hour, minute. It's easy. I could do it right now. Uh, you know what? Like, to be honest, bro, everybody needs somebody be to be the bad guy, you know? Like, we love it when there's, like, an antagonist. We love it when there is a bad guy. We all, we all want to, like, come together as one and fight for the cause. Fight for the cause, you feel what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, in the last uh, couple of weeks, Xbox made it super easy. But, 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 <laughs> Phil Spencer apparently grabbed uh, onto his balls and he apparently came out and confirmed the fact that Call of Duty 
is coming call of duty black ops is coming to xbox game pass on day one though day one that's big here folks and uh, surely the sony ponies out there uh, are uh, 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 xbox andy saying that P playstation players in the mud yeah go off so the xbox andy's doing helicopters with their release and i gotta be real i gotta be real finally xbox getting a little bit of incentive to buy right if you have a pc then i guess you get more motive you have more motivation you get more incentive to buy a game pass i want to know your thoughts on it but wait for it and it's not so much that I'm defending poor, defenseless, trillion-dollar Microsoft, no. I'm just tired of journalists, influencers, and social media turning any little bit of bad news into magnitudes of bad news. They closed down Tango Gameworks, and now all of a yeah. sudden, the gaming media is telling me, oh, talks are in. Didn't you hear the news? Internal discussions suggest Microsoft doesn't want to put Call of Duty Day 1 on Game Pass. Mm. It's over. We told you yeah, so. Yeah, we had this news, like, what, a couple of days ago, even I covered the, the, the story. Everybody was covering it, right? But here's the thing, though. Like, guys, conspiracy time, maybe, okay? You know, maybe. Maybe because, like, this was reported. Even though it was false or real, maybe it was real, maybe it was false right right now of course they confirmed it but i'm talking about like a few days ago when this news broke about xbox deciding whether to put it or not put it when that news came out i was seeing like a lot of people say that bro like i'm gonna cancel my game pass subscription whether those were like sony ponies whether those were like xbox andy's but nobody knows nobody knows and that's not the point the point here is that that news kind of broke and i guess we'll never find out but what if because of this news breaking out phil spencer was like okay bro like what if like that caused uh, him to kind of panic a little bit and he was like okay bro like you know like it's bad news everywhere bad news everywhere we need to come out with this one and we need at least one w and i gotta be real bro this is a big w for xbox it is it is, it is a big W. 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 It's actually bad for PlayStation. I play on PlayStation. It's uh, it's kind of it's one of those things, right? It's one of the reasons why Sony didn't want this deal going through because they were fighting in court, right? Phil Spencer was fighting like Microsoft, Sony. Both of them were like they didn't even care about anything else that Activision had. Of course they do. I mean, duh. But like primarily they care for the call of duty right it's all about the call of duty man gaming for everybody i guess phil spencer pulled through with that but you you want to know what what it's all about it's about that <laughs> yeah most importantly it is about the friendly uav online okay it's about securing the bundles revenue or the revenue that these bundles generate from the call of duty scene and i also want to actually show you this right so a lot of people uh sony ponies xbox andy's everybody right this is the only middle ground that sony ponies and xbox andy's can find and it's quite i mean wholesome to uh see people actually put this the call of duty store is about to experience inflation Bruh. Now they're about to charge $35 for all <laughs> for all bundles. Expect the price of bundles to go up, right? This is the only thing where Sony Ponies and Xbox Andy's would come together as one and would agree. You know, because yeah, the prices are gonna go up. That $20, uh, $20 BBC bundle, right? This $20 BBC bundle, probably gonna be like worth what? Like $40, that $80 King Kong bundles, easily gonna shoot up to like $120, bro. And, and yeah, get ready for $200 bundles, I guess. Oh, Colin Moriarty was right. One week you're saying this, and then the next week, but, uh -oh. the news is this. Cut on Game Pass is not guaranteed. Microsoft had internal debates about it. Report. Several days later. Breaking. Microsoft intends to add Call of Duty Black Ops 6, uh, this year's no. new Call of Duty game, to Xbox Game Pass on yeah. day one. And, and, and you know what, like, a couple of days ago it was considered to be bad news, and absolutely it was, right? Because they did a promise, like, hey, we're gonna bring all the Activision games day one on Xbox. And then we heard this news, and a lot of people were like, hey, yo, what the hell, bro? You shutting down Tangle that, that made uh, <laughs> that made Hi-Fi Rush, and y'all suck as, in fact, like, Mad Booty came out. But I, I, but he hit his booty right now, like, Bruh. like Mad Booty uh, hit his booty right now, but he came out and said that we need more smaller games like hi-fi rush but then they shut they nuked the studio right so that happened and then we had this news phil spencer nowhere to be found sarah bond uh, di hire right she went on stage and uh, didn't uh, answer the question she didn't answer the question and she gave like a dumb uh, answer and when she was asked about like the mobile division she started shaking she was uh yeah she was like oh the mobile oh, oh we got this game we got that game 
coming, we got this coming out, we got that coming out. So she got really excited when they asked her about mobile. So it had the energy of, same energy, right? Don't you guys have phones? Don't you have phones? So it had that energy and yeah, she went, she went crazy though. Uh, yeah, so she started talking about mobile. So a lot of people were like uh, mad about that. But today, I mean... That's all what they needed, bro. That's all what they needed, bro. They needed to confirm that Call of Duty is gonna come day one on Xbox. And suckers are now, <laughs> suckers are now excited once again, guys. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I, I play on PlayStation. I don't got Xbox, but I have to agree, though. Like, if you already got Game Pass, whether you have that on PC or Xbox, bruh, like, this is, you're gonna save a lot of money, bro. If you already have Game Pass and you play other games as well, if you don't have Game Pass, and you only play Call of Duty, then you getting Game Pass in the long run, though, you're gonna lose a lot of money, right? Then it's like, you're better off buying the game for $70. Because if, if Call of Duty is the only game you play, if that's the only game you play... If that's the only game you play, the dog, yeah, 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 yeah. Buy it for $70. Don't buy, like, Game Pass then. Because you're gonna lose a lot of money. So Griffin says that Xbox, that Spiral, coming news. Game Pass price increase coming, incoming. Yeah, Game Pass price increase is coming. Yeah. The Verge is reporting Xbox executives have been debating for months. I'm telling you, it's time we all admit the Xbox tax is real and you subscribe to me and stop listening to the naysayers. No, L like and subscribe, like and subscribe. But nah, Xbox tax, nah, bro. Like that ain't real, bro. That 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 ain't. Real. Oh, that is Alex. Not that no offense, Alex. Like, it's just about? that sometimes trying to be as reasonable as possible will lead you down an unreasonable path just to get oh, there. Bang. The way gaming media reports. Yo, this is Black Ops 1 Resurrection DLC IRL trailer, right? Oh shit! Like that real life trailer. Man, back in the days, the marketing was like this, bro. Holy crap, man. Call of Duty is down the gutter right now. Right? On Xbox. It's as if the console will no longer exist by the end of the year. That's how they always report on Xbox. And they almost yeah, got me. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I for a second was convinced the troubles were so bad, Microsoft wasn't gonna be able to put COD on Game Pass. But then I'm reminded this is a trillion dollar company. How can they not afford to do that? They just opened up a new studio with Activision and that's being treated as something evil as well. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the one thing I wanted to come out of the ABK deal is happening and it's happening a lot sooner than we expected. Most people had assumed we wouldn't see a Call of Duty game day one on Game Pass for at least three to four years after the acquisition. Yeah, yeah, the fact yeah, that it's yeah. happening this soon just proves- Yeah, we were talking about this the other day as well, right? Like, bad case scenario, it doesn't come on Game Pass realistically, not day one, but maybe later on, best case scenario, we're gonna get it day one. And guess what? I, we, we got the best case scenario. We, we got the best case scenario. I, I mean, yeah, a lot of people are gonna save money that way. I mean, that's good. That's good. We're all wrong. We don't know what the f we're saying, and we know just as little as the influencers and journalists reporting on it. Now, anyways, what does this mean for uh -oh. Game Pass? Well, it's uh -oh. been an excellent year for the service. Starting off with Power World, then we'll be getting Hellblade 2, Stalker 2, Indiana Jones, Avowed, and now the new Black Ops game. It's fair to say the service really is increasing its value, which will definitely, without a doubt, lead to a price hike. Don't kid yourself. Will this lead to Game Pass numbers skyrocketing? Absolutely, but not enough that Microsoft will manage to not have to increase the price it's it's gonna happen and to that i say as long as the value is maintained as long as they continue to give me more reasons to come back 20 bucks a month is really not that bad i see people pay more for smaller subscription services with yeah. less content i also believe this will i mean ubisoft recently right with assassin's creed it, it's like what 18 dollars a month or you can or you can buy the 130 us dollars version <laughs> Three days early access, you get the season pass, you get the full game, <laughs> you get the full game. Man, seconds over at Ubisoft, I don't even know, no, man, those bozos, bro, like $18 a month, holy crap. And, and, and yeah, they're, and, and they're like purposely doing that, right? There's a whole lot of drama, we, we have covered that uh, on the channel already, but will lead to Microsoft creating new tiers. With games like Call of Duty, I highly doubt they're gonna throw in all the perks that come with it. My best guess is if you wanna play the more enhanced editions of Call of Duty, that include all the DLC, season passes, and cosmetics, you're gonna have a new tier of Game Pass that comes with all of those, and the other tier will come with the base game solely. Do I like this approach? 
Well, I like it a hell of a lot more than paying for Call of Duty and then paying for all the extra stuff. And to that, I say there's nothing wrong with having an alternative. Call of Duty is a very expensive franchise to get into if you really want to get into it. And people love their Call of Duty. I think it's yeah, a good true. idea. That's true. And it will help people say- Suckers like be hating on it, but suckers like keep buying though. Suckers like uh, like be hating, but suckers like keep playing though. Yeah, it's like the best-selling game every year. Sometimes it happens to be like coming at like a number two spot, but like, who cares at that point, right? Who cares at that point, man? Who cares at that point? It still is the best-selling game, man. <laughs> and this year we're getting the Black Ops 6, guys. The Black Ops 6, okay? Man, break in Microsoft intends to add Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Yeah, guys. Uh, and, and yeah, we're also hearing that it's by the time it comes out, it's gonna be like what, almost four years in development. So. This is the game here, folks. If this turns out to be trash, I know Sega's still gonna say, well, Call of Duty 2025 will save us all, you, you know? Yeah. Call Next year, it's gonna be better. Yeah, Sega's gonna say that, but it's like, if this this year's game is bad, it's Joe over. It's never gonna be over, but it's gonna be over, if that makes Bruh. sense, guys. I don't know what I said, but guys, wait for the climax here. And as we get down to the climax, I wanna say, if you guys do use Instagram, if you got Twitter or X now, uh, definitely check out the link down in the description uh, below in the pinned comment. We got the second channels, all the YouTube channels are linked there. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and also the secret, the secret link here, oh, folks. Oh, Yay. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. Save money. Some of those people being me, because I got taxes up the ass. You really think I'm better off just paying full price for COD with the added value of yeah, all those crazy, other games man. being released on the service this year? I don't feel like I'm being ripped off in the slightest like I am with, say, Ubisoft Plus. However oh, yeah. you look yeah, at it, yeah, if you're yeah. a Game Pass subscriber and frequent user, this is good news. And yet for some reason, Dreamcast guy wants to spin it like it's bad news as you would uh, expect him to do. You know he's seeking validation for being wrong about the ABK deal being blocked to this day. He holds a lot of resentment towards Xbox and Xbox users for constantly proving him wrong. So if he can get any little W, he will because let's face it, this man was born a loser and will likely die a loser. <laughs> What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. And today we're talking nah, about- Nah, nah, bruh, like come on man. All over a video game news, bruh. Like if you're really gonna to, like uh, dig down on the homies like that come on man like, I like yeah bro like come on man it was his birthday a couple of days ago what we talking guys uh hbds like the video for his uh birthday it was like just a few days ago right come on man like what we doing here bro it was the homie's birthday man it's just gaming banter bro it's just gaming news at the end of the day bro like what we talking about here but but i, I watched his video i did watch his video and, and the only point that i agreed with is uh I, i'm not sure if he specifically said that way or not but this is how i took it is that maybe in few years from now it can be bad what I mean by this is that, uh, of course, it's coming on Game Pass now. Uh, Call of Duty quality in general has deteriorated over the last few years, right? So if it comes on Game Pass, the quality can deteriorate even further uh, going into the future, whether that be this year. I don't think it's going to be this year, but like, you know, in the future, it can be. And that's the only part that I agree with. That, that's the only part I agree with. I don't think he said it that way, but that's how I uh, took it. Uh, uh, but but it remains to be seen. But uh, make no mistake, this is good news though that it's coming on Game Pass. Absolutely, it is. Xbox because a big new report was just released that Game Pass is making a final big gamble. They're going to put Call of Duty into Game Pass this year. Final gamble that's been their strategy and plan from the very beginning how's that their final gamble the strategy of game pass has been the strategy they've stayed with for years now okay Let, let's not pretend like this is a last ditch effort it's not and if you don't think they're gonna buy more studios to put on that service Vince yeah, 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 yo who are they gonna buy though yo who are they gonna buy who are these suckers gonna buy who is left to buy uh you be snooze right Square Enix is going third party right now, okay? Mm -mm. They technical, technically can buy them because, yeah, they can still buy them and still keep putting out games on all the platforms, right? I guess uh, it's one way to up the profits uh, percentage, right? Or the percentage that you can take. You can take a lot more of the profits if you kind of like partner up and that's how uh, I guess they're gonna... Uh, and already what we heard is that Game Pass is not making them a ton of money, but Activision Blizzard is making them 
a, a, a lot of money even now it hasn't even been a year since they acquired them and they're making a lot of money with call of duty so now they're gonna put it on game pass sell it on playstation sell it on the pc sell it on xbox as this for 70 bucks plus have it on game pass on pc uh, they, this thing is gonna make money ubisoft is someone a, a lot of people are saying and thinking that they're gonna go bankrupt at this point because the stock is falling 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 the fan reception is just bad 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 uh and, and some people are thinking sony is gonna buy them some are thinking that at microsoft is gonna buy them and they're worth like what two some billion right now oh, shit. a lot of money but like you gotta understand two billion versus 70 billion which was activision yeah yeah uh, and they used to be worth a lot more ubisoft is worth nothing right now i mean they're worth 20 billion i mean 20 uh, or not 20 i mean 2 billion 2 billion is 2 billion though <laughs> okay i get it i get it can a brother get two pennies yeah absolutely but but still you know what i mean right guys check out this video on the screen we had this doozy go down <laughs> recently okay a lot of people are mad this video is going viral as well there's a clip i'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not check it out on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys check it out and i'll see you right there